In this video, we're going to learn how to simplify the square root of 51. But before we do this, we need to review another math rule. So, the square root of 51 can be simplified by using the math rule the square root of a times b is equal to the square root of a times the square root of b. So, if we apply this to 51, we first want to find the factors of 51. So, the factors of 51 are 3 and 17. Applying this rule, we would do the square root of 51 equals the square root of 17 times 3. And then we can break that square root apart to get the square root of 17 times the square root of 3. Now, this is useful when one of the factors is a perfect square. But in this case, we have no perfect square as 17 is prime and 3 is also prime. So this doesn't really give us a great idea of a simplification of 51, but it is useful if you want to break apart that square root into two smaller square roots. Now, if we're trying to estimate the square root of 51, we can look at perfect squares near the value of 51. So the first perfect square near 51 is 49. So 7 squared gives us 49, and that's a little less than 51. Now, if we look at 8 squared, which is 64, this gives us a value a little bit greater than 51. So we can see that the square root of 49 is less than the square root of 51. And the square root of 51 is less than the square root of 64. We know the square root of 49 is 7 and the square root of 64 is 8. So then we can rewrite the square root of 51 as between 7 and 8. So now if we wanted to just estimate to the nearest whole number, we can estimate the square root of 51 as 7 because this 7 squared gives us 49, and that's a lot closer to 51 than 64 is. So we would round this to 7. So now, in this lesson, we've learned how to break apart that square root into two smaller square roots and also estimate a square root into a whole number.